Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are still going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper one that was written in November 2021. In this video tutorial, guys, we are going to be focusing on question 2.2 and question 2.2 requires us to answer questions relating to the invoice of the cell phone contracts that have been taken out by Mr. Our Fortune. Before we get started with today's video tutorial, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial tutorial guys and also don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up so without any further ado let's get started with today's video tutorial question 2.2 an extra a shows an invoice of the cell phone contracts taken out by mr fortune right i'm going to put emphasis on the word contract right why am i putting emphasis on that word because that basically tells us that mr sj uh mr fortune didn't just take out one contract but he took out multiple uh contracts right so cell phone contract invoice for mr sj fortune he stays at five second avenue zone two small dorado 2463 right that is the invoice date the 17th of january 2021 this is his account number this is the payment method they do a direct debit from his account right so they directly debit the amount from his account um every month uh, the due date is the first of march 2021 and that basically tells us the areas whether mr sj fortune uh pays his accounts in time or not and we can see here that mr sj fortune pays um his um cell phone uh contracts accounts um in time right summary of charges for mr sj J fortune's abc plan right so he got the abc made for us right so that is basically the first contract that he took this is the duration of the contract this is from the 13th of march um 2019 to the 12th of march 2021 we are given a description of the items that are under this contract and we can see that we've got the device right that cost 260 rand and 87 cents and we also see that we've got the abc made for us that basically cost 94 rand and 78 cents right the subtotal for this contract excluding 15 percent vet is 355 rand and 65 cents so that is the total that um mr sj fortune has to pay excluding the 15 percent bet right second contract that mr sj fortune got under the abc plan was the abc made for uxs right and the duration of the contract was from the, the 13th of may 2019 to the 12th of may 2021 we're also given the description of the items that are under this contract and it's the device that cost 173 rand and 91 cents as well as the abc made for you xs that costs 86 rand and 09 cents right and this was basically the subtotal excluding the 15 percent vet and this 260 rand the next contract that mr sj fortune got under the abc plan was the abc choice 5 gig right the duration of this contract was from the 19th of august 2019 to the 18th of august 2021 we are given the list of items that are under this contract and you've got the device that costs 165 rand and 22 cents and we also have your abc choice 5 gig that costs 172 rand and 13 cents. We are also given the subtotal, right, for this contract, excluding that, so that is not included, of 337 rand and 35 cents, right? We are also given here the VAT total, okay, for this um, invoice, and we're given that it's 142 rand and 95 cents, right? So when you get the 
when you add the 355 rand and 65 cents plus the 260 rand plus the 337 rand and 35 cents and you calculate that 15 percent vat okay for all these items so you get the 15 percent vat for that the 15 percent vat for that 15 percent vat for that and you add them together you'll get 142 rand 0.95 cents right and then lastly we'll have to basically calculate what this a is and that is the total amount due for current period including the match right so we basically need to add all these amounts together the 355.65 260 rand 337 rand 0.35 plus the red to get what that a value is right so we've basically analyzed this invoice that belongs to mr fortune we've just quickly analyzed this and i think now we're more than ready to basically answer questions relating to uh, this invoice okay right. state the number of cell phone contracts that have been shown in this invoice if we go to our previous page guys i've already highlighted them so nicely for you guys we see that we've got one two three right cell phone contracts that have basically been shown in this invoice the abc made for us that is the first one your abc made for you xs that is the second one and your abc choice five gigabytes right so i've basically diff um shown you these different um cell phone contracts using different colors and we can see that we've got three cell phone contracts next question question 2.2.2 .2 .2. name the cell phone contract which shows the most expensive device right so we're going to look for the most expensive device the cell phone contract that shows the most expensive device right so what are we going to do we're going to have a look at our contract here right okay those are our three cell phone contracts and we're going to specifically focus on the devices for all these contracts all right so we're going to look at this device right for the abc made for us we're going to focus on the device for the abc made for you xs and we're going to focus on the device for the abc choice 5 gig right and we're going to basically look at which device is the most expensive right and from here we can basically see that it's the abc made for us device that is the most expensive because it's 200 and 60 rand and 87 cents right that is the um, highest amount right compared to the other two question 2.2.3 show how the vat amount of 142 rand was calculated right remember what i said when we're calculating the vat amount guys remember in all of these um cell phone contracts right the vat amount was basically not included right so for the abc made for us we know that the total excluding that was 355.65 um cents right for the abc made for you xs right we saw that the total amount excluding that was 260 rand right and then we saw that for your abc choice five gigabytes right the total amount excluding that was 377 uh 337 rand and 35 cents right so how do we calculate the total vet of 15% because they've already calculated it for us, right? But now we need to show how they got that 142 Rand and um, 95 cents. So we want to show how they got this amount, right? And like I mentioned, guys, we're going to take that 355 Rand and 65 cents. We're going to take the 260 Rand and we're going to take the 337 Rand and 35 cents. We're going to add all these amounts together right and you're going to multiply it by what what we want which is the 15 percent vat and we're going to get our vat amount okay so it's going to be the 355 rand and 65 cents plus the 260 rand plus the 337 rand and 35 cents okay and when you add all those amounts together you'll find that you get 953 rand 
okay and from this 955 uh, 953 right we still want what 15 percent um that right so we're gonna take that 953 rand and you're gonna multiply by what you want and you want what 15 percent that of this total amount right so 953 multiplied by 15 percent or you can say 15 divided by 100 you get 142 rand point 95 cents right so that is basically how they got that amount there all right okay there's also another way to do this you can take the 355 rand you can take this 355 rand okay you multiply it by 15 percent take this 260 multiply it by 15 percent you can take this 337.35 multiply it by 15 percent okay and when you do that Okay, and when you basically multiply all these amounts by the 15% VAT, right, you will get 53.35 plus 39 plus 50.60, right? You'll still get that, if you add all these amounts together, you'll still get 142 rand point ninety five cents, right? So you can either use this method to get your answer, or you can either use this method to get your answer but i would highly recommend that you use this method because it was really really fast and straight to the point because at the end of the day um this is just for two marks right let's go to the next question okay so guys question 2.2.4 calculates the missing value a so how do we calculate that missing value a there all right so this is what we want want that missing value a and that missing value a is the total amount due for the current period including the vat amount right so what do we do literally guys we are just going to take we're going to take the 355 rand and 65 cents plus the 260 rand plus the 337 rand 0.35 cents plus all right your vet amount of 142 rand point 95 cents to get your a right why are we adding the 142.95 cents because that is the that is basically the amount um that is basically our 15 percent um vet amount remember for our um first contract second contract and our third contract they hadn't included the vet there right so by us adding the 142 rand point 95 cents we are basically adding that 15 percent vet for all of these amounts right to get what the total amount will be including the vet right so that is basically what we're going to do we're going to add all these amounts plus the vet amount to get the total amount due for the current period including the vet right right and that is basically um the missing value um a okay next question 2.2.5 says that states in words the probability of selecting a cell phone contract that is not from abc right so let's basically have a look at our invoice here and we basically need to basically state the probability of randomly selecting a cell phone contract that is not from abc plan right and we can see that the probability of that happening in this case is zero right because all of these cell phone contracts are from abc 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 right so what would then be the probability of randomly selecting a cell phone contract that is not from abc plan in this invoice it's impossible right it is absolutely impossible there's no chance zero percent zero out of the three okay so the probability of randomly selecting a cell phone contract that is not from abc plan if you are looking at this particular invoice is zero over three or zero why am i saying zero over three because remember when you're calculating probability okay probability is 
given as your favorable outcomes over your total possible outcomes. So what are the favorable outcomes in this particular case? So what are our favorable outcomes? What are the outcomes that we want? The outcomes that we want are selecting a cell phone contract that is not from ABC, right? So when you look at this particular contract, do we have another contract that is not from ABC here? No, we don't. So what is our favorable outcomes in this case? It is zero, right? And then what are our total outcomes, right? Total outcomes in this particular invoice, how many contracts do we have? We've got one, we've got two, we've got three. Okay, so what is the probability of sele randomly selecting a cell phone contract that is not from ABC? It is zero. So how do we state this in words? So the probability of selecting a cell phone invoice a cell phone contract that is not from um, ABC is what? It is zero. Zero percent, right? Or we can basically say it is impossible. Or you can say not possible, right? Or you can just say zero out of three. Why are we doing this? Because they basically said that we need to basically state this in words, right? Okay. So I was just basically doing a recap of how we basically calculate probability here. But obviously, you don't have to do this. You can just basically say or give your answer as 0 out of 3. That is the probability of randomly selecting a cell phone contract that is not from ABC. That is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Guys. Thank you.